Hello, teachers, parents, and educational leaders, and welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Best. Now, during this episode, you will get a peek into the members-only area where I have tons of resources to help you make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. There should be a link somewhere around this video where you can learn more. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it and let's break down the standard. Welcome to Breaking Down the Best, a video series dedicated to breaking down Florida's best standards for math. So grab something to write with and maybe even a snack. This looks good. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. There you go, I see you. And let's dive into today's best standard. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Sarah McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy. And I'm so excited that you're here today to join me as we break down today's best standard, which is MA.4.NSO.2.4. MA stands for math, four stands for fourth grade, NSO stands for number sense operations and 2.4 is our standard. Okay, so by the way, the following document that I'm writing and marking up all over, that's not something I created. That's something that the Florida Department of Education creates that's made public and available to you. And I'm just showing you how I break down standards to then create the resources that are available in the membership that you have for taking on the best. So. Let's, I just figured let's just do it together, all right? So this standard says that students will be expected to divide, so we're using division, divide a whole number up to four digits, so that's four digits divided by a one digit whole number, so no fractions, no decimals, we're using whole numbers, with procedural reliability. That's stage two. If we're thinking about it like a staircase, the first step would be the exploration level. Step two is with a little bit more of teacher support and like, here's a strategy that you can use to solve. And then step three would be procedural fluency. This is stage two. We will have to represent remainders as fractional parts of the divisor. Okay, now let's see for the clarifications. It says that this um, procedural reliability means helping a student choose a method they can use reliably. We're going to be um, focusing on instruction that's based on place value, properties of operations, and the relationship between multiplication and division, which is awesome with division because we can use multiplication to check the work, which is what is taking place in those video lessons that I'll show you. Um, what are the related or horizontal alignment in fourth grade? Well, we've got 4.ar.1.1, which is multiplying and dividing word problems. We have 4.m.1.2, which is measurement conversion. So when we're going from a small unit to a larger unit, we would actually divide there. We'll get into that in measurement conversions. 4.m.2.1 is two-step word problems using distance and time, and also these geometry reasoning standards um, are with area. So when we have area, then we're multiplying or even using division if we know the area, but we're trying to find the side length, we might use division there. <laughs> um, over here, by the way, it says Q was here. That's because I noticed this little Q in the blue thing. I think that was just a typo, but I thought it was funny. So it was like Q was here. Dividend is the total that you are dividing. So you're taking your dividend and you're dividing it by the other known, which is your divisor. That would be the other known. An expression means that there is no equal sign present. So for instance, for 4,321 divided by six, there is no equal sign present there. So that is technically an expression. As soon as we throw an equal sign, it becomes an equation. And the quotient is the answer to a division word problem. A lot of times students will see that word quotient and be like, what's that? So make sure that you're teaching that vocabulary with your students. Where are they coming from? They're coming from a bunch of different multiplication and division standards in third grade, but they, the Department of Education labeled this one. That's where we're multiplying two factors 
and that have a factor from 0 to 12. And then where are they going? In fifth grade, they will be dividing five digits up to five digits by up to two digit numbers. So we're increasing that divisor to two digits and increasing the dividend to five digits, up to five digits. Okay, let's see what jumped out at me here. It says that students should use multiple methods such as area models or models with base 10 blocks to connect understanding to a method they will use with procedural reliability and ultimately leading to a standard algorithm. Basically, this means that they should be working with things that make sense to them using strategies that are based on place value. So here's the, I love that they included like what they mean using base 10 blocks. Um, also the area model is represented right here. Partial quotients is represented here and long division here. Now we are going to use these three strategies in taking on the best. So if you're looking at any one of those three and you're like, um, I don't know how to do division with an area model or partial quotient division, I've got your back with that, okay? You just gotta stay tuned for the video lessons and I'll show you where those are in just a minute. Um, one more thing that caught my eye, caught my attention down here in this section was that seven divided by three equals two with a remainder of one. That's a very basic example, but just showing how to um, switch that into a uh, fractional form as your quotient. And here are some sample tasks that you can take a look at, but I would like to show you what you have access to with your membership. So here we are at the website. You can go to members enter here or members enter here. Um, then we are taking on the best, which grade, fourth grade, which strand we're going to go to the nso strand and scrolling down to this division ma.4.nso.2.4 division of a whole number by one digit so multi-digit whole numbers by one digit all right so for your bronze resources if you have a bronze membership a silver membership or a gold membership you do have access to these video lessons and there's three video lessons for this standard the first one is dividing up to four digits by one digit using the area model and also checking checking using multiplication. You can see here first we estimate to see if our answer is reasonable when we actually solve it. Then I'll break down in the video how we solve using the area model and how to check it using multiplication. There's a lot of work happening with the one problem. So we'll do another problem there as well. The next one is using the partial quotient strategy, same setup with the printable, estimate, partial quotients, check using multiplication. So you can watch the video there to see how that is done. And then the last one is long division, which some would consider to be the standard algorithm. You can absolutely use that same setup, estimate, long division, check using multiplication. Um, okay, so then if you have the silver, package, you know that you have access to more resources. So let me just show you what you have access to. Of course, you have access to your bronze resources, which are the video lessons and the printable student guides. Then you have extra practice, math missions, math misconception mystery in the printable section with your answer keys and this video. I'll show you though. So here is the video lesson, you know, because of the icon. And then there's one practice, two practices with the area model. Sorry, then there's the video lesson for partial quotients with a couple extra practice sheets that follow. Then long division video lesson, the extra practice that follows. Then we have a math mission. It says use the card, use each card one time to create a division problem that has a quotient of more than 4,000. Show how you can find the exact quotient. So not only do they have to put the cards in there, they have to show that it does get to a quotient of more than 4,000. They would read this and explain whether that person's theory is why it's incorrect. For Math Misconception Mystery, that's that other video. For that video, I walk everybody through the whole process. Um, this is the, the question that they will solve. Your students will solve this question first. And then there's going to be four characters, which are me dressed up as silly characters, 
who three of them solved the problem incorrectly, making a mistake that students commonly make, and only one of them solves it correctly with the most reasonable answer. So they'll solve it first on their own or with their group, then they'll watch the characters and jot down notes here, and then they'll fill out their detective report. Who does the most reasonable answer belong to? And what about the other characters? What did they do that was correct? What did they do that was incorrect? What was their error? And what do they need to know for next time? Super, super fun. And then if you have the gold, you chose to have the gold because of the mini assessments and the McCarthy Math 155 lessons. You also get the little bonus of the Breaking Down the Best Standards ad free, but these videos are available on other platforms because I want to try to reach and help as many teachers as I possibly can. So here are the, my audio actually just cut out for this. So I'm going to keep on going because I have audio in a couple other places. If you hear a difference, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, all right. So now we have the mini assessment. Give you a quick, quick peek into here. Quick peek. Just usually a five question assessment. You can take a look at that if you have the gold. Um, you have your answer key right there. And then of course, McCarthy Math 155, which is aligned to the Common Core standards. And those standards are not aligned with the best standards completely. There are a lot of skills that carry over, but not everything. Here in, if you scroll down, you can see all the video lessons that you have access to here. Each one of these is a unit. And if you click here on division, you can see we have partial quotients division and standard algorithm division. I don't believe there's an area model in this one. I'll check. Okay, this is standard algorithm, day 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, our standard algorithm. Then showing the relationship between multiplication and division, partial quotients, yeah, I guess I didn't get into it with the area model. Well, don't worry, because taking on the best shows you how to do just that. I actually like the area model. And you have some also, you also have some word problems there. So with McCarthy Math 155, you get a ton more resources. You just have to be, you just have to understand that they were aligned to the old standards and the new standards have changed things just a little bit, which is why we break them down in this video. Okay, that is what is included with the membership. That is what this standard is all about, the MA.4.NSO.2.4. .NSO so let's close out this video lesson. But before you go, I want to remind you that what you choose to do with your life every day, it really does matter. As educators, this is an exhausting and stressful and intense career choice, but it really does matter. And we are so fortunate that we get to be a part of their journey and help to guide them into the best version of themselves. So thank you. If nobody said thank you today, I'm telling you, thank you. Thank you for all that you do. I love supporting you. And I just want you to know that you're a rock star in my eyes. So I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Okay, so I know that I just said goodbye for now, but I'm gonna ask you to do one more thing, okay? If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with your teacher friends or other leaders in education. That's how I get to continue doing what I love to do, which of course is supporting you all to the best <laughs> of my ability. All right, for real now, bye.